Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be doing a valve loss adjustment on this International A26 engine. But I'm going to show you how to set number one cylinder to top dead. Which you'd use for a multiple things. Such as replacing the like, timing of the fuel pump. Or if you got to do anything with the gear train. Or top end set like we're doing here. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. First thing, remove the valve cover which is already done. And then we're going to go down by the bell housing. Okay, we're down by the bell housing here. I'm on the passenger side of the engine. You're going to find this cover and remove that cover. Those two bolts there are seven mil heads. And go ahead and take that off so we could have a look at our flywheel here. There we go. So you just got these two little things, nubs sticking out that you gotta fight with pulling this off. And there's our flywheel. Now there's two timing marks in this engine. One on the flywheel and one on the cam. Um, now since I'm not doing any gear train work, I'm not replacing the cam or anything, and I don't have any crazy riding issues, I'm not gonna check the cam timing mark. So I'm just going to line it up with the flywheel. This flywheel mark is going to be either showing your number one top dead center or number six. So if it's at number six, I'm not going to rotate it all the way to top to number one for the uh, valve lash adjustment. I'm just going to adjust the valves I would if it's at number six. Um, but to get it to number one top dead center, we'll just rotate the flywheel till we get to the timing mark. And then I'll check to make sure our number one cylinder valves are both loose and that's how you can tell if you're at number one top dead center if your number one valves are loose and your number six valves are tight then you're at number one top dead center if your number six valves are loose and your number one is tight then you're at number six top dead center so let's uh, rotate this flywheel and get that timing mark Okay, so as you've seen what happened there, I went over the timing mark. So when you go over, you gotta go back a couple spins um, and then come right back. And that's to take up any of the lash in the gear train so that when you adjust the valves or anything, uh, it's not out. So yeah, just remember if you go over it, come back a bit and then come right back to the uh, timing mark just to take up that lash in the gear train all right we're all set that's the number one top dead center well wait no, we don't know yet check our valves here light oh yeah so we got our intake and exhaust loose so that's number one so number six will be tight and that's it that's how you set number one top dead center on an a26 engine